Oh, well, hello there. I didn't see you standing there. Hi, my name is Mr. James, and I am standing here in the heart of Maya Mopan. Maya Mopan was originally founded in 8000 BC by one Mr. Epiphanio Sho. <laughs> Just kidding. Maya Mopan was actually founded in 1976 by a Mr. Show. Maya Mopan is located just north of Georgetown, just off the Georgetown Junction. Apparently there are 658 people that reside here in this quaint village of Maya Mopan, consisting of 95 families. There are two schools located here, a preschool and a primary school, which goes from Standard 1 to Standard 6. And a bus! No, this village isn't asleep all day. This is a thriving, living, breathing city. All right, we must remain quiet because class is in session. But as you can see, education is of the utmost importance here in Maya Mopan. Students remain here through Standard 6, where most of them go on to further their education in Independence High School or Georgetown High School. <laughs> Bella guys, what's clean in And that's some of the resources that Maya Mopan has. They have a health center, they have internet center, they have cell phone coverage throughout most of the city, and they have a community landline. Oh, welcome. Welcome to the wonderful garden that the Peace Corps helped build. I've just planted here what looks to be a normal stick, but it'll actually grow into a large tree, just like all the posts around here. Now, let's move to the laundromat. <laughs> and here I am, standing at the Miami Pond laundromat, where people come to wash their clothes, socialize, and do whatever. And right over here, we have a communal shower. Ah, so here we are. This is the latrine that Peace Corps helped build. No expense was spared in the latrine. Except for the fact that the door does not actually shut. Anyway, if you excuse me, I've got some business to attend to. Why, hello. Well, there really is no crime here in Maya Mopan, with the exception of drunks. Now, as we all know, drunks, and uh, specifically amongst the Mayans, there is a lot of fighting. So that tends to be a problem, especially when one goes after the other with a machete. Um, aside from that, domestic violence is a problem, but very rarely gets reported. If reported, however, it can lead to several months or years in jail for the husband. 
NGOs often visit Miami Pan. Of course, Peace Corps is the most influential of them. But SHI and SIF also join. They've helped with pig penning and church building. One of the NGOs has actually provided solar panels to the Church of the Nazarene here. This is one of seven churches in the area, so if you're looking for anything other than Christianity, you're going to have to go somewhere else. <laughs> here we are. This is what the children of Miami Pond do for fun. Well, sometimes they play football, other times they play volleyball, which is a common sport to do after school as well. Other clubs uh, in the area may consist of chess, checkers, and jousting, although they don't have horses and lances at the moment, so that's been been put um. <laughs> Community values teamwork, as you can see in this preparation for the Independence Day celebration. Thank <laughs> you.